gorgeous people I have made it to Seattle made it onto my cruise it has been a long journey to get here let me tell y'all so y'all know that on Monday night I had got the email saying that my flight had been uh, delayed by an hour therefore I was going to miss my connection flight and I was trying to figure out how I was going to get to Seattle on Tuesday luckily everything worked out wonderful for me and I did make it here that was just a long journey a long ride from Cleveland to Detroit at 1 o'clock in the morning get on a flight everything is all good the boat is amazing food is good I'm gonna kind of take y'all on a quick tour of just some of the main stuff I hope y'all can hear me well I know it's a lot of sound a lot of wind we got airplanes and everything going so just bear with me as we go through everything now we have arrived at the ship and we have to show all of our documentation so we can check into the actual cruise and now we're headed to the actual ship where all the fun is beginning here we're just going through through the doors and you can see this is the main i want to say like lobby kind of area you have like your guest services where you can purchase your different excursions and this is where they had a lot of the trivia games at there in that middle center stage they also have a bar that you can go to and this is on the third floor of the ship i am off to the top of the ship i just wanted to enjoy a little bit of the view before i continue the tour to my room now we're on the elevator and my room was located on the 10th floor very beautiful room as you'll see here shortly we did get a balcony room just because I wanted to be able to go out and relax and not have to worry about going to the Lido deck, which is the top deck where you can see all of the water and everything like that. So I wanted to be able to have that option for my room. The room was very spacious. As always, the bathrooms are very small. Um, can't do too much. It has your bare minimum that you need here. Nothing too exciting in the bathroom. Next here, you'll see the view from the balcony. We're still obviously in port in Seattle. As you can see the needle point over there. Very nice view from here. I enjoyed many days sitting out here on the balcony. It was just really relaxing. All right, so now we're on deck nine. Here they have two restaurants and two bars. And as you can see the pool, the red frog you do have to pay an additional cost for the liquor here you can also purchase a beverage package before you come on to the cruise they have that on their website if you would like they also have a towel hut if you are going to enjoy the pool you can just grab a towel from there over here you'll see guys burger this restaurant is included in your cruise package so you do not have to pay an additional fee to eat at this particular restaurant this is one of my favorite places to grab something quick to eat perfect cheeseburgers and fries i really love guys burgers we don't have one of these here in cleveland so this is the only time that i can eat this and i really enjoyed eating here now we're entering into the, the dining rooms where they have the different buffets these change for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And they'll put up to show what all foods they have to offer. Uh, there is a list of times that these particular buffets are open. So you just have to check the app to see if they're open. And I'll show you all the app in a later shot here. The juices that you just seen, uh, you don't have to pay any additional fee for those. There is like free ice cream and yogurt stations, plenty of seating. So there's never a problem as to, oh my God, where I'm gonna sit. Now we're headed to the back buffets. These buffets are different than the ones in the front. Uh, they have a few different options back here, like the meat station they didn't have up front. They also have the uh, seafood section back here, the seafood shack. So you can purchase crab legs and different fish and shrimp and stuff back here. They have the menu and this is an additional cost just for the seafood shack. Here we have our little fruit station. This is always back here. It is only a, 
at particular times and it will also a dessert station over there. This is just the other side and they normally have the same stuff on both sides so the um, lines can go a lot faster. Now we're going to the top deck and I just want to be able to show you all the beautiful view, the city skyline view of Seattle, which is amazing. So let's check it out. Here we have our mini golf course. It is nine holes. I do apologize for going through the course backwards. It was just people on the other side and I did not want to put them in a shot. There is no cost to play the mini golf. It's already included in your cruise. They have the clubs and the balls on the other side so you can get those and feel free to play whenever you would like as it is open the entire time. So we are on our way to do a meet and greet with mimosas. So we, I'm excited to see what the cruise has to offer. So the meet and greet is really like a art auction. Um, the mimosas is good. Some pretty cool art in here. Let's check it, check it out. Let's see. They do have some really nice pieces in here. I'm not really sure how much they are, but they're really nice. I'm more than likely would not be purchasing art, but it is still nice. Here is the casino. It's pretty empty right now. I think it just opened not too long ago. But it's pretty nice. Got a lot of different machines. Um, I don't think it has any, oh yes it does, it has a few table games in here. I think it's like blackjack, we got roulette. If I do play anything, it'll be roulette. And a few of the slot machines. They got a jewelry store over there. A um, few watches, necklaces, I stopped in there. They also got like a little gift shop where you can buy some liquor that's what you're looking for any type of souvenirs and stuff like that for family members we're gonna go back to the room just chill hang out for a second until it's time to go to dinner our dinner is at 7 45 so we have pre-scheduled dinner every night 7 45 we don't have to go to that particular um, place to eat if we don't want to we can't go to the buffets that I showed y'all in the videos earlier But if you don't want to do that, you can always do the dinner Excuse me. So I'm on my way to dinner first dinner of the cruise My dinner room is called the golden pearl found that out because I just went to the black pearl and Found out I was at the wrong uh, location because when the lady asked me for my table number she realized that I was in the wrong dining room so now I'm walking across to go over to the golden pearl and not the black pearl all right we'll show y'all what we have for dinner here shortly hello 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 I'm Jimmy and I'm
After dinner, we headed over to Punchliner Comedy Club. We were able to watch one comedian. He was about 45 minutes to an hour long, I believe. And we just finished our night here. And I would like to thank you all for watching and stay tuned for part two.